Hello, my beautiful doll. Today I'm teaching you how to make this werewolf makeup, and it's been highly requested, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm starting off by prepping my nails. So what I first had to do is put on some false lashes, some false nails, because I always have them very short. So I had to apply those. Then a uh, coat of white, and then on top of that white coat of paint, just or a nail polish, just apply a yellow one and let it dry. Once the yellow has dried, you have to work pretty fast with the rest of the colors, which are going to be orange and black or you can choose a red and black, or some rounds and some oranges. Oh, anyways, what I'm doing is I'm applying a, co a coat of orange, then on top of that coat I'm just applying a little bit of black, not too much. And then another coat of orange is just going to mix those colors up, and I'm getting different tones of browns and blacks and oranges, and that's what I'm pretty much going for doesn't have to be too uniform. Then once you have applied all those colors, you have mixed them up. Just take an old toothbrush and scrape off some of that uh, nail polish and you're just going to be left with some very cool earth-like um, nails. Once your nails have dried, just apply your elf ears or werewolf ears. If you guys want to know how to make them, just check the box below. And then I'm taking the jumbo black pencil or a black eye pencil or a black eye cream if you don't have a pencil and just apply it all over my top lid and the outer corner of my lower lid just to make a bit more emphasis around the inner corner and the outer corner. And once I have applied them, I'm just starting to blend them up just because I want this to be uh, the base for the rest of my makeup. And for the cheeks, what you want to do is you want to clench your teeth. You want to um, press very, very hard. That way you know how to guide your makeup and just get the main color. Okay, we're working all the time with the same jumbo bed. So, so you don't need too many colors for this. Just an eye cream, black eye cream, some black eye shadows, and some white ones. And that's pretty much it. And then once you have drawn them, just start blending the color off. Just because you want to get a shade of gray or you want to create shadows, you don't want to have very um, obvious black. As you can see, once you have stopped blending, you will have a very defined job. And then the same thing for my forehead. I'm just going to recreate that shadow where the hairs would be. Once more, I'm just taking some cream and then I will start blending it up. So, okay, I'm just trying to create some shadows. Then take a black matte, very um, defined um, eyeshadow and a flat brush and just start drawing what it would be the hair. So, okay. You want to put some emphasis in your eyes, so you want to redefine a little bit more your eye makeup. Make sure you put some emphasis in the inner corner and the lower outer corner. And then the rest of the makeup is just drawing uh, little lines that would be the recreations of um, the recreation of tears. So as you can see, I'm not too careful. You don't have to be too careful in this makeup. That's the cool thing about it is you, you just have to be spontaneous and play around. If you don't like some part, you just go ahead and erase it and start all over again. As you can see, I'm only working with two colors. Then you want to put some of the black eyeshadow on the lower part of your nose and under your nose to recreate that um, prominent mouth. And then also apply some of the black shadow to the corners of your mouth just to make the mouth stand up even more and to look like it's a bit mm, swollen or coming up. Then also for your eyebrows, what you want to do is you want to uh, kind of look angry and just follow the natural lines of your forehead and just 
redefine them a bit more. Then you want to take a white matte eyeshadow or a white highlighter that you might have around the house and just highlight parts of your face and it would be the forehead, the bridge of your nose, um, the jawbone and the cheekbone and also the top part of your lips just to make your mouth stand out even more. And once you have done those, you're pretty much finished with the makeup, just applying some vampire teeth or some werewolf teeth. If you don't know how to make them, I have a tutorial, I will leave the link below on how to make them. And then what you want to do is just um, back comb your hair, just to make it look a bit crazy and not too combed out. That's pretty much it. Um, then I've been asked many times how do you take the vampire teeth out well it's very easy if you apply that cream you will realize that the teeth just get stuck to that cream and that cream just turns into a gel don't be too grossed out about this I'm just trying to show you guys what's supposed to be in your teeth so as you can see it just turns out into a little bit of gel or silicone and that's how they get stuck so they're very easy to take off I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps you and you guys use it for Halloween or Carnival. Uh, have fun and don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, like this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!